Okay. I once was blind, but now I see. <laughs> she was cleaning her glasses. Okie dokie. Welcome to Saturday. And we are going to start with a lovely Japanese hymn by Zhao Zishen. Nope, Chinese hymn. Chinese hymn. The tune is Le Ping. Number 871, Greet the Rising Sun. <clears throat> Rising sun, shining with bright force, like an athlete strong, set to run the course. Birds sun high above, wildflowers bloom below, with the day's new light. prayer. Keep me safe today. Sanctify my thoughts, all I do and say. As I teach the young and esteem the old, may your bounteous grace by my life be told. Lord, I will today on your love rely. Let no evil thought cloud the clear blue sky. Joyful and content simpler things, knowing all I need from your kindness brings. Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have given me relief when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. O oh, men, how long shall my honor be turned into shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has not has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. <clears throat> be angry and do not sin. Ponder in your own hearts on your beds and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, Who will show us some good? Lift up the light of your face upon us, O Lord. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. In peace I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, Make me dwell in safety. So we got up this morning and we started thinking, what are we going to get done today? We're going to dig up that garden patch up by the mailbox. And then decided, no, let's not do that. Let's let's do some work inside. We got some projects to finish. And then we look at the at the devotion, the devotion calendar. It says, take a nap. Take a nap. Read a book. Get some quiet family time, and you and you look at Pastor Rosso's book, uh, and uh, and for day one of as we're beginning the actual the actual uh, uh, journey with learning about the Holy Spirit, begin with rest. Are you ready? Okay, time to take a break. That's all for today. Get some rest. Take a nap. <laughs> I I read that and I thought Pastor Rosso is being lazy and. And I couldn't think of anything else to, so let's just have everybody take a break. But actually, there's a very important point here. Uh, when we're thinking about, we're thinking about how we search God's word and we want to know what Jesus is saying to us and then 
what do, what does the Holy Spirit want us to do, right? Except that's not how we put it. We ask that question, Holy Spirit, what what are you forming in me? And it's a important thing to remember, it is the Holy Spirit who is forming things in us. We read God's word and God changes us and he leads us to do things to to serve him. He he uh, he uses us in different ways throughout our life. But it is God who does this. When we pray these prayers, Jesus, uh, where are you speaking into my life? Jesus is the one speaking to us in his word. Uh, Holy Spirit, what are, uh, what are you forming in me? It's the Holy Spirit who forms these things in us. Heavenly Father, what promise do you have for me in taking my next step? Uh, it's God's promise. It is always God who's doing the working in us. And we stress, I... <laughs> I won't speak for you. <laughs> I stress and, oh, what about this? I have to do that. And, oh, there's so many things. All the things. Right. The psalmist starts that way. I, I think Psalm 4 starts out sounding that way. And it's interesting how it gets to verse 8. Answer me when I call, oh God. <laughs> hey, you, he says. Uh, oh God of my righteousness, you've given me relief when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. Oh men, how long shall my honor be turned into shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? God gets frustrated too. I know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Be angry, don't sin. Ponder in your own hearts on your beds and be silent. Offer right sacrifices, put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us some good? Lift up the light of your face upon us, O Lord. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when they're grain and wine abound. He's, he's talking about all this striving and struggling in faith. He, others too. Uh, uh, lift up the light of your face upon us, O Lord, they're praying. And, and Lord, show us something. But he says, in peace, I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. And that, that last verse is a real contrast with the rest of the psalm. All this struggling, and yet it is in other places in the psalm also, about trusting in the Lord. You may be angry, but don't sin. Ponder in your own hearts on your beds. Be silent. Listen to the Lord. Shut up yourself. Offer your sacrifices, but rest and trust. God thought that was so important that he commanded the people of Israel to take one day out of every week just to rest just so that there would be time that they would just shut up long enough to listen to him. What are you thinking? I'm thinking. <laughs> well, how long will it be that we can be silent? It didn't. wasn't very long, was it? <laughs> Sometimes your silence has this wait. <laughs> And other times... It's my my it's silence has more weight than it used to. <laughs> uh, I hope you can do this today. I hope you can have a quiet day. I hope that you can rest in the Lord today. Take time not to pray in earnest, but to lay back and talk with the Lord. Be quiet and wait to see what he is forming in you, not what you have to do. Our prayer, come Holy Spirit and give me rest, quiet my anxious heart and mind, still my body and my soul, breath of life, breathe in me and give me your peace. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. You have a great Saturday. <laughs>